We appreciate you joining us today on In Focus Kentucky. I'm Mario Anderson. Each week on this program, we take a look at issues that matter to you and talk directly to the lawmakers and community leaders who help shape policy and law that affects you. On today's episode, we are starting a new series highlighting leaders at Kentucky colleges and universities. Over the course of 2019, we'll introduce you to Kentucky University and college presidents and share how their schools are preparing and developing students to join the American workforce. According to FreeForYou.com, the national database of scholarships, Kentucky is home to 112 Kentucky colleges, community colleges, and trade schools. Jay Box is president of Kentucky Community and Technical College System, which has more than 100,000 students and students at 16 colleges across 70 plus campuses in the Commonwealth. And it's Kentucky's largest provider of post-secondary education, online courses, and workforce training. President Box joins me now in the studio to talk more about this. And uh, President Box, thanks for joining in Focus Kentucky today. Thank you, Mario. Absolutely. Uh, let's first talk about KCTCS. Uh, it prides itself on being uh, the solution to Kentucky's workforce solution. Uh, how so? That's because we have a three-pronged mission, and one is to prepare students who come to us without a high school diploma or GED or just barely out of high school and maybe are not ready to go on to a university and we, we deal with that and get them ready where they can go directly to uh, their associate degree and into the workforce. We also provide transfer education, but the third thing is that we provide workforce education and training specifically aligned with the jobs here in Kentucky. And you're sharing with me that you're entering your fifth year as uh, president, but uh, you are a product yourself of, th of this entire process, so it's pretty, been a pretty impactful to you as well in your career. Yes, I started at a community college in Texas. It was appropriate for me. My family couldn't afford to send me to a university, and so I chose to go the community college route, and it was probably the best move I ever made. Now, you recently were appointed as one of 25 members to the American Workforce Policy uh, Advisory Policy Board at the White House in Washington. How did this come together? Back in July, uh, the president put out an executive order announcing the appointment of the National Council for Workforce. As part of that council, he also declared that there would be an advisory board appointed, and uh, there was an application process. Uh, I applied at the request of another national board for community colleges that I sit on. Uh, I applied and went through the vetting process and was selected back in November and announced in January that I would serve on this board. Uh, this particular board, uh, the U.S. Commer Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross oversees it, uh, um, and then uh, President Trump's advisor, daughter and advisor Ivanka Trump is also a part of this, and uh, you recently were with her in Georgetown when she uh, visited the Toyota plant, correct? That's correct. Uh, uh, Ivanka was, was here uh, touring the Kentucky Fame Project out at Toyota, and afterwards she asked to visit with me. and. As you know, uh, Kentucky Fame was a joint project between Toyota and Bluegrass Community and Technical College back in the 2010 era, and at that point it was decided that that would be a, a, a model that we could expand in, in Kentucky. We, we had now have 11 chapters and 11 of our colleges are involved, and uh, Ivanka and I talked afterwards and she said, uh, Dr. Box, this is a model we want to expand across the United States. So the next advisory board meeting, she's asked me to present on our Kentucky Fame model. Uh, and talk more about this uh, particular board. I know that uh, the board is working on developing uh, the best ways to develop a national workforce strategy. Uh, what are some best practices from uh, KCTCS that you might be sharing with Ivanka, but also uh, the members of the board? I've been uh, targeted to, to work on goal number two in this group, which is on kind of data transparency. And what we do in Kentucky is that we're very focused on making sure that our incoming students know what jobs are out there, what kind of pay they'll have, and what kind of credential you'll need, what kind of education you're going to need. And we put that out there on our websites and, and we advise students when they come in. And that's one of the things that the advisory council is very much interested in, is that they want to make sure that that kind of data is used across the country to help draw more students into the workforce programs that are out there. 
And how are you actually doing that uh, with so many campuses across the state? Uh, how do you zone in and target on those potential students uh, and, and then uh, eventually bring them to your school uh, to, for more work? Well, we pull data from many different areas. The unemployment insurance data, what they call UI data, is pulled in that, that tells uh, the colleges what jobs are open in their region. And then we uh, look at the competencies or skill sets that are needed for those jobs. We get that information from employers. Then we align that with our technical programs. And then we then put that information out there on our website and say, if you want to be a welder and hired at this company, these are the courses you're going to need to take. And this is about the pay that you can expect once you complete that coursework. Uh, well, Dr. Box, we appreciate your time so far here on In Focus Kentucky, and uh, we'll continue the conversation with Dr. Jay Box here on In Focus. The Apple CEO, Tim Cook, was going uh, around talking about what Apple is looking for in their future workforce, and he said that in the last three years, we've completely shifted the requirements for the jobs at Apple where we used to require mainly bachelor's degrees, now we require almost 60% of our workers to have an associate degree or less. That's coming up after a check of your Weather on the Ones.